Hey, we're going to take a tour of the new CBC library. Come in and check it out. This is our new cafe and coffee shop. It'll serve students uh, really round the clock, we hope. If not, certainly it'll serve them till late at night. We hope this becomes the hangout. The uh, cafe, seating area, there'll be counters all around the side with some computers, but mostly with uh, stations where they can plug in their laptop, charge their iPad, phones, things like that. It's gonna be a really low light, a comfortable area, gathering space for students. This is the Learning Commons area. This will have movable furniture and students will be able to come in, pull the chairs together, have study groups. This is not your stereotypical library. It's gonna be a little bit open and loud. If they want quiet, they can go up to the quiet study room, but it's a huge open space for students to gather. And we hope this will become the gathering spot for the students on the CBC campus. It's hard to tell much about this, but this is the Ronald D. Mitchell archives. Our archival uh, material has been stored for uh, several months, and now we'll be able to put this in here. It has uh, climate control, uh, shaded windows, and so students will be able to come in here and look up history of not only of the college, but of the whole Baptist Missionary Association of Arkansas. On my left is the Education Media Curriculum Center, and that will support our new teacher education program. And then right here on my right is the Science Resource Center. This was funded in part by the $1.9 million Title III Strengthening Institutions Grant, which also helped us build our labs in the other building and start four new bachelor's programs in science. Multimedia classroom, it can be used for a variety of purposes but mainly for a classroom, but a gathering spot for other types of activities. We'll head up to the second floor. Four quiet study rooms. So if students really want some peace and quiet, they can come up here and study. It's about the entire upper floor will contain our library stacks. We'll start with the current 60,000 volumes that we have and of course add to it. Each bay, each stack, will have a name on it. People are sponsoring these stacks for $1,000 each naming opportunity. As you can see, overlooking the uh, commons area, how beautiful it's gonna be. Uh, some bright colors, a lot of memorial opportunities. And then we'll also have historical items displayed around the, the sides of the library with uh, display cases, things like artifacts from Old Main, uh, from years ago from the old college, the old women's college. So it'll be quite a, a historical place as well. The Welcome Center and uh, Registration Desk will feature digital signage as well as digital signage in other parts of the building. This inset area here will be devoted in memory of Dr. J.E. Cobb. The previous library was named the J.E. Cobb Library and we will commemorate the memory of him in this area. Thank you for touring with us. We hope to see you at the dedication ceremony on February 1st, 2014.